Oh, silent my god, please. Uh, <laughs> Butcher, can you finish that for me? Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Arya and welcome to the video. Let's talk about stealth loadouts. Sound is obviously a very important part of Hunt Showdown as things like gunshots, explosions, and the various sound traps can alert the entire lobby to your position. To remedy this, most builds bring some sort of silent option to deal with things like hard-to-reach hives and horses, with the most common options being something like the throwing axes and the throwing knives. Silent weapons do exist, but offer a bit of a drawback in damage falloff, muzzle velocity, and a price increase to compensate, usually making them harder to use in PvP compared to their loud counterparts. But even though they may be generally less effective compared to their loud weapons, there's still a lot of value in having a silent gun, allowing you to quietly take down AI and move much faster through the bayou without being detected. Popular options for stealth include the Silent Betterly and the Centennial Shorty Silencer, but I decided to revisit an old favorite and one that I've actually already showcased on this channel. But before I show you what the loadout is, I just want to remind you that this was all streamed over on my Twitch, link and schedule in the description below, and if you like the videos here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. But back on topic, the loadout for today consists of a crossbow primary and a silent Nagant secondary. The crossbow is an absolute menace that a lot of people still sleep on for some reason. It's a one hit to the chest up to 35 meters, it costs next to nothing at only 50 hunt dollars, and if it doesn't down in one hit, it causes intense bleeding. This thing is deadly even in the hands of a beginner, and even though it does have an arc to it, it's negligible up until about the 30-ish meter mark, and in close quarters, hip firing at center mass is more than effective. The Silent Nagant, on the other hand, is a little less stellar for PvP. It absolutely can get the job done, but I find the sights are a little bit awkward to aim just because of how thick they are. I always have to remind myself that even though the sights look like a fork, think of them more like a dinner plate, and whatever you want to hit needs to sit right on top of the dinner plate, which in this case is the front post. It might sound a little bit strange, but go to the firing range and shoot some long range shots and you'll see what I mean. That being said, even though the Silent Nagant is a little awkward to use, it's still a fun little gun and I get a lot of satisfaction knowing that my enemies have a pistol usually relegated to AI clearing on their death screen. Overall, this loadout shines in compounds since neither weapon is really meant for long range, and AI and bosses are no problem either because you can just shoot them with zero repercussions. The Silent Nagant is great for pestering enemies from medium range, and even if it doesn't do very much damage, if they try to get closer, you can show them why you should never sleep on the crossbow. But enough talking about the loadout, let's see it in action, and into the matches we go. Highest, er, the highest. I want to say highest and like... Was that? <laughs> Must have been the wind. I don't know where he went. My guess is either down or he's right in behind this wall here. What did you have? You also had a silent I got in the Springfield, I think? I don't know what that is. He's definitely close by. Yeah, I think I hear him on the what the fuck here. Oh buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was scared of. I was scared of the Romero. I was like, he probably has a shotgun. Uh, let's throw this here. Ooh, yeah, the sparks. That's what that was. Okay, thank you for the second Chaos Bomb game. Appreciate it. See for the first ones here. I'm gonna assume not because I think it was like a pretty even 50 50 split for bounty. But maybe. Oops. 
Oh, that was a shot from right over there. I think we have people nearby on their way. I think it's probably white right now. Never mind. Silent my god, please. Uh, <laughs> Butcher, can you finish that for me? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Butcher. Appreciate you. <laughs> I don't think they're very happy about that one. High velocity. There's that scopule I heard that might have been what I was hearing. Woo! Glad the butcher took care of the person with the slate. That could have been bad. As the hunters in this match were so willing to show off, sometimes when you miss with a silent weapon, it doesn't really matter. No big bang to alert the enemies to your present, just the silent sound of a mosquito in their ear. But even though there's no noise from shooting your weapons, that doesn't mean there can't be a few bangs or booms in your fights with something like a well-placed red barrel. Yeah. But yeah, like, super proud of Infinity Ward for taking such a, a quick and like effective stance on it. More so than just like, you know, people going ahead and like confirming gay characters and adding like hide bundles to monetize. There's people behind me. I'm just gonna wait here and try and ambush these people when they even inevitably come up. Yeah, definitely, like, there's no, like, there's no good way to argue, like, if you take a stance, like, against the protesters, you are literally supporting Nazis. And that's, uh... Not good. Believe it or not. Okay. The other team, don't shoot me in the back, please. That would suck really badly. One over there. I don't want this team to peek. They both picked up. Oh, I love the crossbow. And that really Oh my god.
blue shirt. Oh, he's up top. Am I not doing anything? He's still up there. I don't want to go up and loot them before they rotate. This was just too good. This was just too good. this spot too much. I think she's scared of the crossbow. Oh, like, good, you should be. Is there a lantern in here? It's scrappy. I missed it. Never mind. It worked. <laughs> Is that everyone? Nice. That was that was clean. <laughs> God, the crossbow is just so good. My goodness. <laughs> Shot her. Yeah, you missed. No, I didn't. Something something cool action line. Even though the crossbow is kind of the shining star of this loadout, one thing that can't be understated is the satisfaction from landing a Silent Nagant headshot. And this feeling only gets better when your opponents had you dead to rights after a little bit of a Dragon's Breath incident and completely whiff a free kill. Bad time might be an understatement. <laughs> it actually kind of. No, that sounds like it's here at Heritage. This sounds like fighting. This sounds like a party. I do hear like shotguns and dual wielding and whatnot, so I do need to be a little careful. Let's grab these here, lovely. Did they just stick him? They did. Uh, uh, 
This might be a bad idea. Right there. I need I need to back up because this is Dragon Breath. It's so closed. I do kind of want to get rid of like these armors. Peeking those. Is that bait? That might be bait. I don't hear anyone getting hit right now. Oh, he has no idea. But now he does. the girl though okay I should not have come out on top of that but we take that So sneaky. Oh, she would have killed me if she hit me with the Sparks Pistol. I don't know why she didn't. The crossbow can honestly be used like a shotgun most of the time since the hipfire spread is pretty tight and only deviates left and right. This is why you see me push so many boss layers so confidently, because a crossbow paired with a silent I got with fanning can end a poor team during a boss fight before they even realize what's happening. Is not moving or breathing or doing anything. Oh, he's so far away. Well, you probably know I'm coming. <laughs> I don't know if those shots were like them fighting the assassin. Or if there was an actual fight going on here. If there was, it doesn't sound like it's going on anymore. So... Now oh, they're fighting the assassin right now. I see Concertina. I think the only way that would have been there is from a bomb, so... Hope these are not, like... My doppelganger! <laughs> <Get right there. laughs> you did not have dual wielding in a saber. Oh my god, never mind. 
for wielding combat axes. My goodness. <laughs> And I have to apologize, because this last match does not have a Silent Nagant as my secondary, and instead an officer, which I admittedly didn't use at all, but this fight was too funny not to throw in. And if this doesn't convince you of the crossbow's close range potential, then honestly, I don't know what will. It's my favorite gun in the game. Oh, that's a problem. How did he get in? Fucking hammer me. He definitely just did. Oh my god. Oh, it's a problem. That's a martini. <laughs> How did he kill me? Oh, because I took a hundred and fucking forty-eight from the terminus guy. Oh my god. I think I can pick up against these guys. I I'm pretty sure I can. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't be able to. He has the martini. Oh, I got him! <laughs> we traded. We did it. <laughs> and now I gotta get out of here fast because there's definitely more people. They're not happy. God, what a fucking clown show. <laughs> <laughs> that was an absolute This guy is never running penny shot ever again. Never in his goddamn life is he running penny shot. Oh thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, there's my crossbow damage done. And that's all from me. The crossbow is probably my favorite weapon in the game right now, and even if I'm still a little iffy on the Silent Nagod, this loadout is still a ton of fun to rock, and a nice way to shake things up if you're a stealth enjoyer like myself. So next time you feel like being sneaky, maybe give this loadout a try, because even though it can't bark, it doesn't mean it won't bite. Thanks for watching.